One of my viewers who watched both my reviews on the Lexus Genuine dashcam and the Fit Cam X dashcam asked if I can do a comparison of the two dashcams. I guess I'm one of the ones who have both dashcams installed on my NX, and that is why we're going to compare the two dashcams in this video. And now let's get to it. Hey, it's LSFD here today, and today we're here to look at two dashcams, and we're going to compare them. I have both of them installed on my 2022 Lexus NX 450H Plus. There are plenty of options for dashcams out in the marketplace, and the one I would like is Lexus to offer to use the 360 cameras and use them as dashcams similar to what Tesla does in the sentry mode. But unfortunately, that is not offered outside of Japan. So if you want a dashcam, we'll need to install one. First things first. Why do I have two dashcams in the car? Well, when I ordered my NX back in like April 2021, and when I picked it up in March 2022, FitCam X dashcam was not available, and there were discussions about the 4K quality of the FitCam X. So at that time, I said, okay, let's order the one that we got from the dealership, which is the Lexus Genuine dashcam. But later on, when I picked up my car and started this YouTube channel, FitCamX approached me to review the FitCamX 4K dashcam for the NX and I took the offer and did that review. Since I was more impressed with the FitCamX camera over the Lexus Genuine dashcam, I kept it in the car. But then I didn't want to take out the Lexus dashcam because it's hardwired in. So talking about the review, this video is not sponsored by FitCamX. And I am affiliated with FitCamX. So I do get commissions if you click on the link below and use my discount code if you purchase the camera. But this video was produced because one of my owners asked me to do this comparison review rather than just doing an independent review of each camera. So let's get to it and look at the specs of the two cameras. So what we have on the left side is the FitCam X spec and the right side is the genuine Lexus dashcam and this is the first version, okay? So the first version of the dashcam and FitCam X, so they're a little bit unfair comparison because one is considered a 4K video and one is a 1080p. But again, that's what's being offered, right? So the 4K single front camera on the FitCam X if you look at it, it has a CPU of the Novatech 96670. That really doesn't mean much, but then you see the front resolution that says it's 4K. There is a lot of discussions about the sensor that is used on the camera, and people are saying that they're using a sensor that is not a 4K sensor. So there is a discussion on that piece, and I think when we look at the quality of the video, maybe we'll see a little bit more, but let's continue off with that, they do say that the front resolution is 4K. So on the other hand, the Lexus one is a 1920 by 1080 and people consider that as a 2K video. All right. And then when you look at the video frames per second, you can select 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. And I believe on the Fit Cam X, you can only choose 30. The video pixel is says an 8 megapixel compared to a 2 megapixel in the uh, Lexus. And then when you look at the front wide angle, the FitCam X is 170 degree wide angle, which you can see 170 degrees. But when you look at the Lexus, the di diagonal uh, viewing angle is 142 degrees. So you're still missing like almost 30 degrees there. When you look at the maximum aperture, it's an f1.6, and on the Lexus is an f1.8. So the lower the number, the better, the more light it can capture from the aperture. And then Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, it's just saying that 802.11 BG and N, which is an older type of Wi-Fi connection. And then when you look at other stuff, uh, it, it says parking mode is not uh, will not work and you need to actually have it hooked up to the fuse box to actually get parking mode for the Fit Cam X. 
for the Lexus that is included. And there's also vehicle protection. So in parking mode, if it will cut off if it gets to 12.2 volts. So there's a, there's a cutoff so it does not uh, turn on if your 12 volt battery goes below 12.2 volts, which is a good thing. Both have loop recording and both have driving collision sensing, so the G-Force sensing. So from a storage standpoint, the Fit Cam X can put a 256 maximum like SD card, whereas the Lexus, you can put 128 gigs. But when you look at it, the Lexus is only a 1080p, so uh, a smaller storage may not be a problem. But then you can't put more, unfortunately. Both have Android and iOS applications. Uh, and I would say from usability standpoint, I think the Fit Cam X app is actually easier to use compared to the Lexus one. And I would say, unfortunately, the NX cannot equip with the Lexus Genuine dash cam 2 because that one is actually a brand named uh, dash cam. And I think that one is a little bit more comparable to the Fit Cam X. So from the spec standpoint, I would say the Fit Cam X has an edge over the Lexus and because that one is actually an older type of dash cam. So other than that, specs doesn't really matter. I think the quality of the image and what you can see is where the most important thing is with the dash cam. All right, so we're gonna look at the video quality in the daytime. So on the top is the Fit Cam X and on the bottom is the Lexus Genuine dash cam. And I tried to connect them as close as possible. I did notice that the Lexus Genuine dash cam came back with 28 frames per second instead of 30. And the Fit Cam X was 30 frames per second. But overall, if you look at the quality, you can see the difference. One difference is the Fit Cam X does have the circular polarized filter that was installed. So you can see that my Cadmium Orange hood does look a lot more better compared to the Lexus one. And when you look at the, the overall picture, the brightness, it does feel that the Fit Cam X does do a better job. All right, so we'll wait for one car and then we'll slow it down and look at the license plates. All right, so I think let's go and wait for the next car that gets closer. And then we will stop and look at the license plate and see which one is better. Let's go here and look at this one. So we zoom in and you can see here, there's totally no comparison with the Lexus and the Fit Cam X. In the Fit Cam X on the top, you can see it's CEXY537. That's what I think it is. But in the Lexus, you cannot even see it. So we continue and see what else can we capture? Like that one was definitely Fit Cam X got one. So let's come and look at this upcoming car. Let's see what this one comes up with. So looking at this, I think both of them failed. Um, I think the Fit Cam X can see a little bit more, but reality is you cannot get anything out of the two dash cams. You can still see that the car is a little bit more sharper. I can see it's a Hyundai, but on the dash and the Lexus one, it was very hard to figure out. All right, so let's go and fast forward. I want to try one that's on the left side. So you can see here, the Fit Cam X shined again. CXLL, I think that's 356 or 956, but if you look at the Lexus, uh, uh, really can't read it. It's just useless. You, you can probably record that whatever accident or whatever incident occurred, but you're not getting much information. That's what's happening. All right, so I'm gonna try to find one that actually has the Lexus can read a license plate because if not, it's a little bit useless, right? So here we go. We finally found one, CSAY504. Very clear on the Fit Cam X. And when you look at it on the Lexus one, you can still read it. Finally, I found one of them that actually captured it properly. Follow me on Instagram at LSFTVideos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX 450 h Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. 
If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, share it with your friends. This definitely will help with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks or visit my Amazon storefront before you purchase anything from Amazon and or you can purchase products from the list on the items that I've been using with my vehicle or at home at no extra cost to you. And now let's continue with the video. A dash cam is needed when it's dark and when it's bright. So now we're looking at a low light. I'm not gonna, I don't have videos on extreme dark um, at night videos, but this is a low light video and it's actually an extreme weather. You can see how much water's on the street. So we're just going to pick on a car and just look at what does it look like in low light. I think the results of this is quite obvious. The fit cameras on top, CXHM691 versus the uh, Lexus German dash cam, you can't even read it. I can even read the 884-1111 taxi phone number, which on the Lexus one again, I cannot recognize. I can see it's a Camry, that's it. I think overall, when you look at these comparisons, you already can see that there is no comparison. The 1080p on the Lexus Genuine Dash Cam, which is a Sony sensor, just doesn't work. It just, you, you can see things happen, but you cannot see details of license plates, signs, that like you can get a sense of it. But you can probably recognize the brand and the model of the car, the color, but that's it. It doesn't really give you all the things that you need. It's quite unfortunate because I would hope that the Lexus Genuine Dash Cam costing expensive, 600, like almost $700 plus taxes, like it's, it's expensive compared to the Fit Cam X, which is a lot cheaper. Yes, some people are saying that the Fit Cam X is not getting a true 4K sensor. And I don't have information, but on, on the web, People are saying it's a 2.5K camera, so the sensor is a 2.5K, it's a 1440p, but it actually records at 4K, so it tells you that you have a 4K video. Um, it may mean that the results are not as sharp, but from what we're seeing here, definitely it does a much better job than the Lexus Genuine dash cam. If you compare to other dash cams on the market are 4K, probably the Fit Cam X cannot compare in quality. But then the Fit Cam X also gives you one thing. It does look like it's an OEM dash cam, which others cannot give. And then when you look at the Lexus Genuine Dash Cam 2.0 that is available in Canada, and that's only available on the GX and the TX at this point. The RX, NX, RZ, all those vehicles, unfortunately, don't get that. And they still get the 1.0 version, which unfortunately, I don't think it's a recommendation at all. The only thing is, yes, it's installed by a Lexus dealership and nothing wrong with warranty. Everything should be fine. So there we have it. That's my comparison of the Fit Cam X and the Lexus Genuine Dash Cam 1.0. And the only hope is the Refresh NX will get the 2.0 and I think that one would be much better than the current one. I hope that you found that this video was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.